Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review of the new Stila, Stila, I call it Stila, we're just gonna go with that. But the Tinted Moisturizer Skin Balm. So this just hit Ulta, it retails for $32 on the Ulta website. It does come in eight different options, which is a little shocking because I feel like brands now are starting to come out with a variety of different things, but only eight different color options. I got mine in the shade 01, or no, 1.0. Don't even know what that is. It is the lightest shade because I am very, very fair. So what this says that it does, it's supposed to fortify your skin with moisturizers, antioxidants, and natural extracts. It's supposed to provide hydration. It does give a sheer to medium coverage with a natural sheen. One thing that I do have to say before you get into the video is that my hair looks different and I'm actually not wearing it right now. I, when I did this video originally, I forgot to do the intro. So here's my intro to the video, but you'll be able to see my befores, afters, me applying the, the product, and I even come back at the end of the day so you can kind of see how it works. So this is not currently what I'm wearing, and yes, my hair is different. So just wanna put that little caveat in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. I've been using this product with the Saint, it used to be Mascara Beauty, but it's their double edge, double edge, double, brush. I don't even know what this is called. It's their foundation brush. When I looked at the Ulta's website when this first came out, I know Stila did come out with a double-ended brush similar to this one. Um, I like this one for using cream products. I figured it would be just fine. Um, I didn't need another similar type brush. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I do have moisturizer on my skin. I use the same beauty products, skincare products that I normally do. The only difference that I found, and it's one of the cons, one of the negatives that I have with this product, is I do find that the product doesn't sink into your skin. Um, it kind of just sits there. This is what it looks like in the palette. It doesn't, like I feel like this brush does a really good job of blending it in but it never fully kind of goes into your skin. And the one thing that I found is that semi help with that is to let your moisturizer sink into your skin, like wait 15, 20 minutes, which I will be completely honest with you, that's not realistic in my world on a day-to-day -day basis, just because I'm busy. So I don't have time to sit there and wait for my moisturizer to soak into my skin. Yes, I could technically do other stuff or whatever. I could do my hair similar to what I did this morning, but it just, to me, it's just not conducive and it's not something that I particularly like. I want to be able to put on my foundation as soon as I get done with my moisturizer and just get out and go. Um, especially considering I've been working from home, I don't, I haven't been doing like elaborate looks or anything like that. So I just want something quick and easy. So that's kind of the first layer. Um, as you can see it, even though the colors, there's only eight color options. It's this one is the shade 1.0. I feel like even if you were lighter, it doesn't have like a suit, it's not super pigmented. So I feel like even if you were lighter than me, you could get away with this. And even if you were a little bit darker than me, you could get away with this. But it's not doing a super good job of covering up my redness. I do find that I have to go in and kind of stipple the areas, especially around my nose, my forehead, where I normally get red. And I just kind of go in there and put a little bit more product. So the things that I like about this is it does seem to, like even though the color, there's not a huge color option, I feel like this color is very natural for my skin tone. I feel like it does kind of give a natural finish, but that's it as far as the pros. I'll be honest with you, I've been using this for a week now because that's usually the time that I figure out, okay, do I like it or not? The first day that I tried this, I knew I wasn't gonna like it. And it wasn't one of those things that, you know, after a week, I wasn't surprised like, oh my gosh, I've used it after a week and I still like, or I changed my mind or whatever. I still hated putting it on every single day. And the reason is it never really sinks in your skin. It never like 
on camera, okay, it looks okay. But in person, I feel like it accentuates my pores. I feel like it accentuates the drooping in my face. And it actually makes my face look older. Like it makes my skin look older. And I can feel as I'm kind of talking and everything, the product on my face. Like it is very, very heavy feeling. Um, it feels kind of cakey, but it's uncomfortable. Like it's kind of sticky feeling or whatever. And when I go like this, I can feel it which normally I really, really like because I do have dry skin. So I do want to feel the product on my skin. And that's why I stay away from matte like finishes because it literally sucks up all the oil in my face and there's very, very little oil on my face to begin with. So normally I really do like that kind of sticky and tackiness. I don't mind it if I touch my face and I feel it, but I don't want to feel it when I'm talking. Like I don't want to sit there and feel like I have this like thick layer of goo on my face. And that's what I feel like with this product. Now it could be the fact that I had to use a little bit more to cover up my, my redness and kind of even out. So for me, this kind of product is perfect. If you don't have a lot of imperfections, if you just want to kind of do an overall, just kind of gleam of it, I think it would work, probably work for you. But to be honest, for $32, there's nothing about this product that really wows me. Um, I feel like for me, it doesn't give me the coverage that I look for. Even if I was going out on the weekend or whatever, I think there's other cheaper products or more affordable products that you could use that get you just like this. And because I have to kind of build up in those areas to get the coverage that I need, the stickiness and the way that it feels is just, it's yucky. It feels yucky in my skin. Um, and it feels very, very heavy. The other thing that I noticed with this, which is hard to explain and I don't understand how it does it, but it's a moisturizer. That's one of the things that intrigued me about it was the fact that I have dry skin, I wanted something that was moisturizing, that sort of thing. But I feel like the end of the day when I take it off, my skin is actually drier than before I even put it on. And I don't set my face or anything like that with powder. So I literally am using my regular skincare products and then this, and I feel like at the end of the day, my skin has more flakes, is more tight feeling. It just doesn't feel good. So I don't, I don't understand what it could possibly do because it is quote, quote unquote, a moisturizer, but I just feel at the end of the day, my skin doesn't like it. Okay, so I wanted to come on here real quick. I did my makeup about eight o'clock this morning. It is only one o'clock and you can kind of see how the makeup is starting to break up. You can start seeing the redness on my cheeks, my nose kind of peeking through my chin. And I don't know if you can see, I have little acne bumps right here that are starting to form. I had another one over here, but it just, and then right here, I started noticing that it's starting to kind of pipe up or whatever. You can see it's not horrible, um, but again, it's not something that like if I was just around the house or if I was just running errands, I'd probably be fine with it, but it's just not a day-to-day -day kind of look. Um, I just don't like the fact that it, it is breaking up. The other thing that it's really weird when I was talking about um, and the video about how as the day goes on, it starts to almost withdraw the moisture from my skin. I can start feeling like right here, it's starting to get tight, almost like if you put something alcohol on your skin and it kind of like you feel that tightness or if you use a, a moisture, if you use a cleanser and like afterwards you're like doing that, you know, weird feeling because your face feels tight, that's what it feels like throughout the day. I can feel, still feel the product on my face, so it's still there. The gloopiness or that weird feeling has gone away, but I almost have like this tightness, especially around my nose and here in my most dry areas of my face. My T-zone is super, super dry, like very, very dry, like crepey dry, mummy-like dry or whatever, and that's where I'm starting to get that, that tightness, which is really weird to me because it is supposed to be a tinted moisturizer, um, and it's just weird how it never really goes into my skin. It's breaking up, but it's just creating this, like almost this feeling that it is taking out all the moisture on my skin and just making it really, really tight. So I wanted to come on and show you guys that five hours later, it is starting to break up. So I know that I would have to, if you're going somewhere of wearing this for work or whatever, you would have to bring it with you in order to touch up. Um, so just wanted to show you guys that.